ebook publishing made easy with Google Docs, Sigil, and Calibre, it's actually a lot easier than you might think, especially if you're starting out with a Google Doc, which we have here. I've got a document that I created. I've added some images, some hyperlinks to web pages. I've done all my editing. I've had it proofread. I'm ready to publish it into ebook format now. So the first thing we do is go to the File menu in Google Docs, Download as Web Page. Click on that. It downloads my document as a web page to my hard drive. And if I look at my Downloads folder, there's a zip file, which uh, Google Docs has created. We unzip it. Now we have a folder, and inside that folder is the HTML file, along with images from my, my document as well. So once we have our HTML document, we open up Sigil. So here's Sigil. You can find a, a link to how to download and install Sigil in the notes for this video below. And we'll go to the Open menu. We find the HTML file that we just unzipped. We click Open. And it has converted that HTML file and images into an EPUB format, which is open, which we can open on most ebook readers. The next thing we need to do is go to the Edit menu and Meta Editor. We need to add a title, ebook. And an author. <coughs> Click OK. If we don't do that, the default for the file name will be just the, uh, the HTML, which is all smushed together, the HTML file name, which looks pretty ugly in most ebook readers. Now we need to save it. The Save button. We'll just save it in our download directory again in EPUB format. And we'll look in our file manager, and there is our EPUB file, which we could open on an iPad or a Kobo or a uh, reader. If you want to open this on a Kindle reader, we need to do one extra step and open up Caliber, another program. Oh, let me just. Remove that, sorry. And we click on Add Books and find our EPUB book there. Click Open, and it will add it to our Caliber library in EPUB format. And what we need to do now is convert it into Mobi format, which a Kindle reader can use. So we click on the Convert Book icon, select Mobi. <coughs> Hit OK, and when it's finished converting, it will show up here. Uh, now we just need to send that file to an email ad, the special email address that Kindle Reader has set up for us, and you can read it on your Kindle Reader. In any case, it's quite easy, quite straightforward. Uh, good luck in creating your first ebook.